Hi, it's time for story time with Sophie and Louie, and we're going to read chapter seven of Ramona the Pest, The Day Things Went Wrong. We're going to start the chapter. Ramona's day was off to a promising start for two reasons, both of which proved she was growing up. First of all, she had a loose tooth, a very loose tooth, a tooth that waggled back and forth with only a little help from her tongue. It was probably the loosest tooth in the morning kindergarten, which meant that the tooth fairy would finally pay a visit to Ramona before long. Ramona had her suspicions about the tooth fairy. She had seen Beza search under her pillow in the morning after losing a tooth and then call out, my tooth is still here, the tooth fairy forgot to come. That's funny, Mr. Quimby would answer. Are you sure? Positive, I looked everywhere. Let me look, was always Mr. Quimby's suggestion. Somehow he could always find the Tooth Fairy's dime when Beezus could not. Back then, that is what people got, a dime. Because let's remember, this book was written when I was a baby, I think, right? Let's take a look at when this book was written. If we look in the beginning, it was copyrighted in 1968, so it was even written maybe before I was born, because I was born at the end of 1968. So, now Ramona's turn would soon come. She planned to stay awake and trap the Tooth Fairy. Now, I understand that Christian was going to stay awake and trap the Tooth Fairy, or film it and try to trap the Tooth Fairy. So, Christian, you have to let us know what happened. Um, not only did Ramona have a loose tooth to make her feel like she was finally beginning to grow up, she was going to get to walk to school all by herself. At last, Howie was home with a cold and her mother had to drive Beezus downtown for an early dentist appointment. Now, Ramona, said Mrs. Quimby as she put on her coat, I'm going to trust you to stay by yourself for a little while before you start school. Do you think you can be a good girl? Of course, Mama, said Ramona, who felt that she was always a good girl. Now be sure you watch the clock, said Mrs. Quimby, and leave for school at exactly a quarter past eight. Now, this is where it gets tricky. A quarter past eight, just so you know what's happening in the story, is 8.15. That's another way of saying 8.15, because a quarter past is one quarter around the next number. So a quarter past eight would be 8.15, half past eight would be 8.30, three quarters past eight would be 8.45, and then another quarter makes nine o'clock. So that's why she said a quarter past eight. Yes, mama, and look both ways before you cross the street. Yes, mama, Mrs. Quimby kissed Ramona goodbye, and be sure to close the door behind you when you leave. Yes, mama was Ramona's tolerant answer. Here's our word that we're going to harvest today. Tolerant. Tolerant means a willingness to, to allow something that you don't agree with. So let's see why that is why this is the word they said. Her tolerant answer to her mom, meaning, you don't really need to say this, I already know all this, but I'm going to say yes, mama, anyway, because I'm being tolerant. I'm just agreeing to what you're saying. When Mrs. Quimby, she could not see why her mother was anxious. When Mrs. Quimby and Beezus had gone, Ramona sat down at the kitchen table to wiggle her tooth and watch the clock. The little hand was at eight and the big hand was at one. So what time would that be, friends? 8.05. Ramona wiggled her tooth with her finger. Then she wiggled it with her tongue, back and forth, back and forth. The big hand crept to two. Ramona took hold of her tooth with her fingers, but as much as she longed to surprise her mother with an empty space in her mouth, actually pulling the tooth was too scary. She went back to wiggling. The big hand moved slowly to three. So now we know if the big hand is at three, it is now 8.15 and it's the time Ramona should be leaving. But listen to this. Ramona continued to sit on the chair, wiggling her tooth and being a very good girl as she had promised. The big hand crawled along to four. 
820. When it reached five, Ramona knew that it would be a quarter after eight and it would be time to go to school. A quarter was 25 cents. Therefore, a quarter past eight was 25 minutes after eight. Is Ramona's thinking right or wrong? Her thinking is wrong. It makes sense what she was thinking, doesn't it? But a quarter past eight is actually 8.15. She had figured out that answer all by herself. We're gonna actually stop there. We'll zoom in maybe on the picture. There's Ramona sitting and watching the clock. And we'll find out what happens tomorrow.